Following the failure of INEC to abide by the electoral law to conduct a free and fair election and to even follow the promises made by the chairman himself that results will be transmitted electronically immediately after voting and counting. He made this in numerous places, even in London. He promised that it is now mandatory that results will be transmitted online to their servers. As a result of all these failures by INEC, Nigerians have taken it upon themselves to do the collation of the results that were uploaded to the INEC IREF. This collation is led by one Mark Essien. He designed a website that he used to do the collation. If you visit the website, you'll be presented with a random image of a polling unit result and you're expected to tap in the numbers you see by the right side, as you can see on the image. And after you complete the forms, you click send. You'll be presented with another one. It works that way. And you can see the spread. Of course, more people are participating from Nigeria. You can also see people in London, US, and other places that are helping to do the collation. He also intends to revalidate the results after they finish collating the results from the 176,000 polling units in Nigeria. That's if all of them have been uploaded as at now. Because by the time they started, not all of them have been uploaded. Anyway, this is where it stands now. You can see who is leading, who is in the second position, who is in the third position. Viewing of results from the website is actually locked right now because, according to him, for legal purposes, but he promised to publish the results after a validation that it will be in 37 spreadsheets that will represent all the states and Abuja. Now to the importance of the collation that they are doing. Many people are missing the point entirely. There was an article written in the Punch newspapers. They were trying to criticize what they were doing that the Labour Party supporters started following and we are enthusiastic in the beginning but when they saw that APC started leading they started accusing the guy and all that blah 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 no it doesn't matter who this guy is working for because he's not going to hurt P2B on Labour Party in any way in court remember that P2B already made a statement that he won the election and that he will prove it to Nigerians of course that's in the court on the other hand, the figures that this guy will bring out finally, of course, you know that we will keep you updated on that. If these figures do not tally with what INEC announced, that will make it glaringly obvious that INEC rigged the election. That will also put the pretender in more trouble. Yes, the APC knows that they did not win this election. So if the collation, of course, one will question the efficiency because there are many uploaded results that are seriously altered. Some are blurry. You can't even see what's written on it. So ultimately, the result the guy will churn out at the end of the day will only aid Labour Party, not the other way around, as people were thinking. Because the Labour Party, like every other party during the election, had their own situation room where all the polling unit results are collated. They have a software that they tap the results into like every other party. Once the results are announced in the polling unit, their agents will send the result to them. They will punch them in. That's how it works. Even the PDP did theirs in Lagos. They were the ones that announced that Labour Party had more than 900,000 votes in Lagos alone. So they are relying on their own data. P2B can't tell the world that he won the election and he's relying on a third party to prove it in court. No, he's not relying on this guy. After all, he made this statement ever before the guy's website went online. We won the election and we'll prove it to Nigerians. So he's not going to hurt the Labour Party's chances in court at all. In fact, it will only aid what they are saying. Already, Yaga Africa and other agencies have already made statements that results from certain places are not correct, are not what they themselves saw that day. So don't be surprised that these people are already being galvanized to aid the Labour Party as witnesses in the tribunal. Here in Adia State. Samuel. Election we did today, the presidential results is not going. And that, was the first one and that was the first one we've been trying, but others are going. 
down. We've been throwing this for over two hours. To upload it. To upload it. We have used and different internet. And wow. I have used different internet to see if I can upload this. But it's not going. Network. People shouldn't get it wrong. The final figures will only help P2B and Labour Party to reclaim their mandate. It will never in any way hurt their chances, no. The ultimate decision lies with the courts, which of course you know they've started well by granting the permission of the Labour Party and of course the PDP to inspect the INEC materials, although INEC is not obeying this order. More than two days the order was granted, INEC is still refusing to allow the Labour Party to inspect the materials. Because in order to prove their case, Labour Party already have their evidence. To convince the judges, they need the materials from INEC to compare and to tell them, yes, you can see the original, see all the parties signed it. Of course, it was not uploaded to the INEC servers. And they will look at the one that INEC announced. Of course, it must be altered in order to come up with fake figures. So it is by this kind of comparison that they can convince a judge that, yes, he actually won the election that the figures from INEC were manufactured, doctored, they can compare it with mutilated results, altered results, you know, so they can't be able to prove them if they do not have access to the materials that INEC relied on to call the election. So it is very important, and INEC knows what they are doing. They are delaying and disobeying the court order in order to frustrate the effort of Labour Party in going to the tribunal. Because remember that you must file all election-related cases to the tribunal not later than 21 days after the election. So this time is very, very critical. Since th that order was made, that we should be given the opportunity to inspect uh, election materials. Uh, the INEC have not allowed us access till now. We've not been able to inspect materials. Our lawyers have been going there on a daily basis. Our technical experts have been going there on a daily basis. And we've not been allowed access. If INEC continues to refuse the order of the court, that means they are taking the calmness of Nigerians for granted. Yes, they are taking Nigerians for granted. They didn't conduct a credible elections. And when the results were announced, people complained. They told them to go to court. The people have gone to court now and they are refusing to obey the court order. Nigerians have suffered under the administration of the APC and they have waited all these years to correct the problems. They will send these people back in on the election day. That they did overwhelmingly. But the APC still refused. They went ahead and rigged the election. And now that the people have gone to court to challenge the outcome of the election, they are refusing to obey the court order. What are they hiding? If the election was free and fair, why should it take days? Why are they preventing Labour Party from accessing the materials used in determining the outcome of the election, if they were truly free and fair? If INEC relied on what was gotten from the field on that day of the election to announce the result, where is the evidence? What are they hiding? Yes, they are definitely hiding something. That INEC has tested the patience of Nigerians is an understatement. But people shouldn't take the bait. Let Nigerians have the patience till the end. Maybe their ultimate plan is to force Nigerians on the streets to start protesting. Which will give them the excuse to maybe sabotage the materials. They can even burn them and say that it was the mob that did that. You know, so let Nigerians stay calm and be watching and hope that the judiciary will also intervene and force the INEC chairman maybe commit him to prison because he failed to obey a court order so that the materials can be inspected and the matter will get to court as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching.